Hey guys, Halfway Dead here with another Bacchus Mod tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to install third-party plugins. Like for example the ball curving plugin that you've probably seen in Sunless Count's video because it already has over 1 million views. At the end I'm going to say a couple of things about creating your own plugins, so if you're interested in that, make sure to watch till the end. So where do we get started? How do you even find these plugins? Well that depends on the specific plugin and you might have to ask the creator. But there is a repository by Bacchus where he collects third party plugins and I'm going to use the plugins available there to show off the installation process. If you're a creator then you can submit a pull request on that repository to get your plugin added. So the first thing we want to do is click the clone or download button. Then download as zip and unzip the zip file once you have downloaded it. The only thing we need from this is the plugins folder, the content of which we are going to put into the Bacchus Mode plugins folder. To get to that folder we can use the Bacchus Mode injector. Just click on file and open Bacchus Mode folder. The Bacchus Mode folder will also have a plugins folder in which you can already see all the DLLs of the plugins that you have installed by default. As you might expect we just need to copy the downloaded DLLs and settings over. That is however not everything, because in order for the plugins to actually load in game, we need to change a config file. So what we want to do for that is leave the plugins Bacchus mod folder, go up one directory and there is a CFG folder. Inside of that we will find a plugins.cfg file that you can open with any add text editor of your choice. So we need to add a line plug and load and then the name of the plugin that we want to load when the game starts. I'll just add all the plugins I just downloaded and you will already have noticed that this doesn't contain the curveball plugin. That is because it's currently not in the Bacchus Mod third party repository, but I'll also put the link to it in the video description. If you open that repository it will look a bit different because there's no plugins folder but there is a release folder which also contains the DLL and hopefully by the time this video goes up also a settings folder with a settings file because otherwise you won't be able to see it in the interface in game. So you can copy that into the Bacchus Mod plugins folder in the same manner and also don't forget to add it to the plugins.config file to load that plugin. I have to add a note of caution here though, because if you just download these plugins from anywhere then there could be a virus in there, just like there could be a virus in any program. This is not a statement about this plugin in particular, but in general about plugins that aren't compiled by Bacchus in the official Bacchus Mod third party repository. So with that part finished we're done with the installation, now I'm going to quickly show off some of these plugins because they're actually amazing. So first up, when you've loaded into Freeplay for the first time and you've installed the science plugin, it will immediately show up. Don't worry, we can change that. Just open the Bacchus Mod interface with F2 and navigate to the plugins tab. There you will see an entry for the science plugin. There is an option to turn off the entire heart so it won't show in the future. But you can also turn off individual things because there are so many at the same time that it might get confusing at times but I'm going to leave them on for now because I want to explain them. In the top left we have the car rigid body state which is just going to give you information about the car location, linear velocity, rotation and angular velocity. Then just below that we have the ball rigid body state which is going to show you exactly the same for the ball. In the bottom left there are the player inputs that get applied to the car. The area sensitivity and steering sensitivity from Rocket League's options get applied after these inputs are being read out. Which means that if you have a steer value of 0.5 but your steering sensitivity is at 2, then your actual steer input is 1. In the top right we have some extra information on the car, the total velocity as well as the velocity in specific directions and some other interesting stats. In the bottom right we have this nice 2D view of the car which shows the current direction as well as the current velocity and velocity direction with the green bar. Shout out to Erator for creating this amazing plugin. The next plugin I want to show you is the Hitbox plugin and it does exactly what you might expect. It is pretty amazing because it can show you your hitbox and your center of mass. I should make it clear that if you change the hitbox in the options that will only change the hitbox that is displayed. It won't actually change the car behavior. It's just so you can see what the car would look like with that hitbox. 
Like all Bacchus Mod plugins, this obviously doesn't work online. So no worries there, it's not unfair. Currently the hitbox renders on top of everything, which makes dribbling very weird. I'm hoping that we can change that in the future and I'm also trying to add the physics wheels to the hitbox so you can see them too and maybe that will help with understanding flip resets. Not to make it sound like I made this plugin, it's just open source. It was made by Megasplat who also made the curveball plugin. Then we have the Mr. Sulu plugin. That is not a very descriptive name, so what does it actually do? So when you enable it, you get this box at the top right. You might remember my fast aerial video where I talked about providing tools that allow you to measure your fast aerials and measure stuff like your jumps. Well, JP aka Mr. Sulu has actually stepped up and provided this tool himself. So this tool can measure the time of your fast aerials and even a couple of other things. The timer is at zero if you're standing still. As soon as you move, the timer starts and as soon as you hit anything, it will show you the time that has passed since the start. You can also use this to test how fast your kickoff is. But it gets even better. If you enable the advanced starts, it gives you even more information for fast aerials. It will tell you how long you pressed your jump buttons and when you pressed them and it will give you a couple of updates about your location. Last but not least, the curveball plugin or what it's actually called the bended plugin. There is not too much I want to show because really go watch Sunless Khan's video if you haven't already because he already made a fantastic video about this and he funded this. I'm just gonna explain the new settings I recently added. The vertical lift multiplier allows you to increase or decrease the impact of vertical lift without changing the horizontal impact of curves. And the max ball spin multiplier just does what you expect it to do. It allows you to change how fast the ball can spin at maximum. And then there's a checkbox to apply horizontal lift even on the ground, which just means that the Magnus effect also lets you curve the ball while it's rolling on the ground. I personally like setting the drag and vertical lift to zero, because that just feels like regular Rocket League, except with curves. At the end I said I wanted to talk about creating your own plugins. I'm sorry to clickbait you a bit, but I'm not gonna explain how to write your own plugin here. But I wanted to make sure everyone that is interested clicks on this because I'm announcing a live stream on next Saturday. And in that live stream we're going to go over some of the basics, how you set up a project and stuff like that. And we're going to implement some very simple ideas. If you have any own ideas, feel free to suggest them, but I already have some ideas and I will decide which ones are better to do. I'm going to be honest, I'm not perfectly familiar with the Bacchus Mod plugin API either because I've mostly worked with the core, but in a sense that is also good because there is no real documentation for this, so we'll have to figure it out on our own and you will see what that process is like. On our own is also just partially true because Bacchus will be watching the stream and we should never get stuck on anything for too long. If you want to work along on that stream then all you need is Visual Studio 2017 and you need a bit of C++ or at least some C knowledge. But I would say if you're an experienced programmer in some other type language that with a quick C++ tutorial that you watched before with the stream you could probably follow along too. That's all the info I wanted to say. If you want to be there, Saturday the 12th of January at 8 p.m. Central European time. If you can't make it, the livestream will obviously stay up as a video afterwards. To stay up to date, you can follow me on Twitter or join my Discord and I'll see you soon for the next video.